Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today, we are looking at the 7th grade concept of theoretical probability, specifically how we can make predictions using this probability, and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. So we have a spinner here on the screen, and let's say we spin this, oh, let's say 15 times. And my question is, is how many times will I spin an odd number? An odd number. Well, that's what I'm trying to predict. How many times will I spin that odd number? If I spin it 15 times. Well, let's go ahead and see if we can make this into a proportion because that's going to help us. First, how many odd numbers do we have? I've got one, two, three, four. Four. They're all kind of stacked up there. So I'm going to say my odds are going to be in my numerator. There's four total, four odds, and then the and there's seven total answer choices, four odds, three evens, right? And so if I spin this 15 times, what I need to do is I need to find a third number because if I do that, I can go ahead and I can uh, make this a proportion. And so if I were to spin this, let's say I'm gonna take this 15, and I wanna see how many total options there are if I spin it 15 times. So that is going to be 105. And so I can say, well, that's going to be 105 because I multiplied by 15. And you've got a few options here. If you really want to, you can go ahead and do a cross multiplication. Right? You could do this if you want to. But there's actually a faster way, right? 4 times 105 equals 7 times, let's call that x. Right? Divide both sides by 7. But you know what? We already know that we're multiplying by 15. There's 15 spins. So there's no need to do all of that. Let's just go ahead and do 4 times 15, and x is going to equal 60. So 60 over 105 reduces down to 4 sevenths. Now, that gives us our answer here, and let's look at another example. With this example, we do not have a picture, but we have a little story problem. A bag contains all of these stones, 17 red, 8 blue, so on and so forth. So if a stone is drawn from the bag and replaced, now this is going to be big. Bag, it's going to be drawn from the bag and replaced 250 times. What is it a reasonable prediction for the number of times we got red, orange, or yellow will be drawn? So what we're doing is we are drawing a stone from the bag, but if we don't replace it, then the probability is going to change every time because we're not going to have however many stones. We've got to figure out how many stones this, are, this is. So let's figure that out, and we'll see why that replace is so important. So we just need to add big addition here, 17, 8, 23, 11, 16, and 25. We just need, need to find a total. Let's see if I can find some 10s. So 7 to 3 is 10. And let's see, I've got 18, 19, 19, and 11. That's going to make 30. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, it makes a nice even 100. Isn't that nice? So every single time I draw a stone, if I don't replace it, then the next time I wouldn't have a chance out of 100. I'd have a chance out of 99 then a chance out of 98, 97. It wouldn't really work that times. And obviously, I can't pull a stone out 250 times if I'm not replacing them because 250 is a lot larger than 100. So I'm looking for my total again. I've got that 100. Now let's see red, orange, and yellow. So red is 17 plus, let's add that with 11 and 16. Let's just add those three. That is going to be 8, 14, there we go, 44. All right, so I've got 44 over 100. I'm going to draw it 250 times. Let's do a little cross multiplication. So if I work this out, I get 100x equals 11,000. Divide both sides by 100. Cross off two zeros, and I'm going to get 110. 